The Next Cycle, Season 30, Episode 3. Hello and welcome to World News. Bad news for you folks at home today as another death connecting to the street has been confirmed. Mother of four, Frida, was found dead in a dustbin. It is believed that she was getting into her lorry and about to head back to her business. But something awful must have happened. If anyone knows the woman that is about to be shown on the screen, please contact the local police. The other more important question is that could Frida's death be linked to the mysterious murder of Vanessa? A true street legend. Or could it be linked to the poor girl that crashed her car and died? Or even the man who got found dead in the street park pond, who had a flyer in his hand at the time? Or could it be linked to the mysterious death of the lady who got sent into hospital after food poisoning? Who also died? Or could all these deaths be linked? You never know. The main thing we at World News wanted to cover tonight was the local police's new and main suspects. We about to show a picture of your rotten faces on the screen. Congratulations if you have been picked. First up there is Lee. No surprise there folks. We at World News were so smug to paint him in a bad light. He is suspect one. Next up is the woman who thinks she's a comedian with that laugh. Delia. She looks like a riot clown now. But she is now a suspect due to Frida's death. Frida was found with paperwork and a check. Did Frida pay Delia back? And if not, was that why Delia killed her? The next suspect is Deborah. I mean look at her. She can barely hold it together. Frida and the man found in the pond were both holding a flyer that Deborah hands out. And Deborah has recently stepped down as mayor. Maybe she wants less media attention as a public figure. But we at World News would never let her get away with that. Last but definitely not least. Is Jacob? The dirtiest man of the town. The poor woman who died in hospital due to food poisoning was linked back to Jacob's street market stall. And he is a bit of a creep so that just supports all the reasons that he is guilty too. Wowee. There's so many angles with all those suspects. My personal opinion is that Deborah did it. You can just tell that there's something off about her can't you? Anyway folks, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.